booster. Yeah. Your 130s here this morning? Oh, I'm sorry, we're having a serious discussion in here. You're gonna have to wait. Sorry to stop you. No, no, this is how it's done. <laughs> Well, what do you think? That was crap! Hey, respect the Floyd. What do you know about music anyways? Every day I come home and my wife shoves ashes okay. in my eyes! You should just respect everybody's opinions, okay? Is that off my door? You know, I just do so much for this school. Like, I was about to retire this one time, but then I realized how much you all really need me. Like homecoming and... Do you even know how much I do for this school? If it wasn't for me, for the Illuminati would give us one of these! Guys, 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 Do you want mini eggs? Uh, I have the Illuminati, we oh, meet Wednesdays at 7. I've been in a Mexican they, prison! No. The tacos are better. They, they, the Illuminati, they, 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 they be coming through the windows, the through the freaking door right now, they be crawling on the ground and putting you... Calculators for everyone. Here you go. Here you go. Did you guys watch the game last night? Do you know how much math goes into the game? Do you know how much math goes into the sun run? Speaking of math, do you know how many kids are dropping out of my calculus class every year? It's, it's ridiculous. They just need to start exploring the garden path. I don't understand. You know what I think we need to collaborate on? It's how some kids think they can just put their tests on my desk. Don't they know we have a hand in drawer? It's just a gong show. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Whoop, sorry I'm late, guys. I had a class to teach. <laughs> Man, that Brandon Gluta kid, he's just pissing me off. I can't stand him. Like his head must have got bigger or something. Probably. There's nothing up there anyways. He just falls. Oh. The basketball team, not even. Oh. Leno can pump up his calves, but he just can't pump his team up. Bonjour, mon ami. La schiami stare. En français, s'il vous plaît. I say you. Just to be big head. Il est con. Oui, oui. Je suis très moyen. There is so much disrespect in the school. I'm trying to have an educated conversation with my students, and they laugh at me. You know what I was talking about? How the Simpsons was created to destroy Christianity. Jansen? Sorry. What we need is a car show, guys. New 3D printer, eh? Hey? Uh, so I'm slow and I hear the best wood around. Yeah, see it for yourself. Oh, wow, look at that straight. It's the best around. Where are your safety glasses? Wash your hands! Out of the way! Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting prepared. I can't wait for the next concert. We have like six new food trucks, like. It's so great to just like go across the bridge and just go and see different food trucks. Like I love Holy Pierogi and I just can't believe they went out of business. Like my kids cried. Like I just, I do it for them. Like I just, I, I do it for them. I'm sorry, but like if these kids can't learn to play their instruments as a team, you're gonna have to bring on Dr. B. Like... Guys, you just gotta cut loose, okay? Foot loose. Kick off your Sunday shoes. What we need is more instruments, like... But the budget! Oh my god, my hip hurts so bad and these students are stressing me out. I'm so pregnant and so hungry. Oh, I got a salad. Could anyone help me with my coloring? But 
did you see that sick soccer play the other day? It was wicked. Well, I have the new international forms. Excuse me, Mr. Chalmers, what are you doing here? This is my job now. Okay, let's get down to business. These kids have no future. I know. They're going to be vaping for the rest of their lives. They have no future because of you. I was here first. Guys, calm down. I'm here for each and every one of you, not just the Aboriginal kids. Now fill out your Aboriginal forms. Come on now. Begin this. Let's go with time. Yo! Soldier, what's up? Hey, I got the new dance for y'all called the Soldier Boy. Hey, veterans? Well, class, I know it is a bit graphic, but this is really a good book, so, uh. Hey! <laughs> no phones! I will kill you. Is that appropriate? You know, you were late today. And you're on your phone. Two things I do. Don't. You're late. No fat? Of course. Oh, I forgot that essay, by the way. Oh, that's okay. I'll extend the uh, marking period a little later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, guys, but if you guys like, haven't finished your grad trends, please follow me on my blueprint and get with it. So I'm taking the interview now. Mr. Pepper, um, mm -hmm. how do you think about the tributes and how the games are going to go? Well, I think I'm going to win, because, you know, look at me. And, uh, yeah, well, and I'm going to win, because back in my day... Welcome to the You, You, You Show. So, Miss Cook, what do you think about the upcoming games? Well, uh, considering how many student backers I have and uh, quality support of fellow staff and whatnot, um, I really think we'll do well. But if we had our own interview room, I think it'd be pretty great. You know what I mean? So, anyways, uh. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> That's organic! This is a garbage can! Take your damn orange peels, go put them on organics! Do you think you're gonna win? Everyone else is going to burn out, and I'm the last one who's standing. Uh, what tactics are you gonna use to win? You know, this is everyone else's bucket, and this is mine. How do you think the games will go? You know, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a gong show, you know? If your sponsors can send you anything, what would it be? Oh, a big old hot dog! You know, they say hot dogs cause diabetes Alan, and I need cancer, a but... Alan, you need a I'll be right back. What do you think about the upcoming games? And I hear you have a lot of fans. Yeah, man, they support me all the way through. The Red Cox, uh, Red Hawks, uh, they're they're with me all the time. Do you think being in the P department, you have an advantage in the games? Well, it plays a big factor, you know. I mean, it's not like it broke somebody's arm, but you know, it helps a lot. <laughs> Good. Do you have any supporters throughout the games? I have uh, quite a few supporters and fans, but um, my number one fan would definitely be Pepper. Get it off? 
Um, anyways, how are you going to prepare for the games? Well, it's quite a simple question, Mr. Yule. Because it's water, diets, and sea monkey. What are some advantages you have over the other contestants? Well, my athletic ability for sure is a big thing. I've been the Terry Fox run here every year. I'm a very good runner. I'm the best in the district, actually. Has anyone given you support throughout your journey? Definitely. My family has been really supportive. My wife, my daughter, of course. And I guess Mr. MacGyver here has been okay. Uh, he counts my laps and spots my weights. Uh, question for MacGyver. Uh, how do you like your apprenticeship? Um, well, it's been... Actually, he loves it here, for sure. How do you feel about the upcoming games? Well, I uh, think they're kind of uh, old-fashioned. Like, I don't really like tradition. Like, Star Wars, though, is coming out today, and I cannot wait for that. Like, I don't even know why I'm here. How do you think the games would go? I think the games are going to go really great. I hope that they're going to be in Italy because, like, I love Italy. My honeymoon was in Italy. My wedding, um, like, oh. Anyways, uh, how do you think you do in the games? I know that I'm going to do great in the games. Like, I'm practically a track star. I've been teaching rugby for three years, so I really have no competition. How do you think the games will go, and how do you think you're going to do? You know, I don't like fighting all that much, but I can get blood on my hands if I have to. What are you going to do in the games? No. The real question is, Mr. Yu, what are you going to do during the games? Um... Are you unsure? How does that make you feel? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Get away! <laughs> what are your thoughts on the upcoming games? I'm just the janitor. I don't want to be here! So, I hear you're the guy with the mustache, but who really are you? Uh, cut? Uh... to the tributes. Hear this, look. Sleek, fit, blood washes out easily. What about poppy wear? No! no! Okay. Mr. Grant, what do you think? Well, you know what? It reminds me of this time. It all started in a prison in Guatemala. Six and a half hours later. And that's how I met Mr. Tenor. But the way to win the games, you gotta explore. You gotta really know it. Explore the garden paths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, a new food truck. Yeah, I think these kids these days are too stylish. They should work on their fundamentals. I think my team just needs to stop making stupid mistakes and uh, be better. I think your team would be better if they ran zones instead of man-to-man. -man. I beg to differ. We never play zone, it's always man-to-man. -man. Ah! Those damn janitors must have messed with it. They don't even know the difference between a starfish and a sea star. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they're, they're so big. You're right. Jeez. Right. Oh, that. Get out of my way. Hey, little ready? Where's my keys? <laughs> oh, yeah, take it. Eh? I have left my class in about 15 years. You are the first. I don't think you trust me. 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 Attention, all tributes. 
let the 75th annual Hunger Games begin. <laughs> Why can't we all just be friends? We've got so much in common, like not wanting our teeth kicked in. Oh, oh. I will remember you. Who wants to die? Oh my god, Star Wars comes out tomorrow in the new food truck! You didn't go down the garden path! Look. But now... Oh! 
this climb was too easy. Oh, oh, oh terrible, I literally tripped. Slam poem for you. Roses are red, violets blue. I'm gonna kill you. B plus. <laughs> I will remember you. I think Penner would appreciate it if I gave him some coffee. Some poison coffee. <laughs> oh. I'm getting too old for this. I need some coffee. Wow. Coffee. It smells like poison. Thanks, Thompson. Well, Cook, looks like me and your last two left. Well, you know what that means, Penner. You're gonna have to die. Well, let's fight. Oh, really? Oh! Oh! oh. Right! Oh! Left! Oh! Right! Oh! Right! Oh! Right! Oh! Oh, man. Let's solve this over a couple of I, I already almost retired once. Like, you know, let's go have some coffee. Yeah, coffee. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, Mr. Penner, you know, when I was younger, back when I was younger, in uh, younger days, uh, I would have really put up a big fight then. I probably would have won. Well, you know, a thousand years ago, I was a hundred pounds heavier, so um, you probably would have won. Well, you know, uh, you know, I do really enjoy coffee. Would you, would you take a watermelon trade? Watermelon? Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good trade. That's a very, I think it's very good, if you know what I mean. Oh, this doesn't taste like vodka. That's because it's poison. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. no, oh. no, that's, that's compost. Oh. What, are you, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, what? <laughs> I will remember you. And the winner is the BCIT guy with the mustache. Who is that? in the making of this video and uh, don't vape because um, it's bad for you and uh, yeah they're just bad I agree it makes you look stupid